let me show you just the level of stupid. Now, there's going to be, I mean, I got to prepare you for this. There's going to be, in this is video clips from uh, the, the convoy. The Austin American Statesman put out this video. They cut m moments together. I don't know what their edits are about in this. They just kind of, so I don't know what the beginning point, I don't know what the narrative build is. And it's not like they're short on cameras. Here, I'll show you. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Palin in cowgirl boots. Um, see this guy with the camera and this guy filming and this guy filming right here and then this person filming. And there's just as many people on this side. Everybody's fucking filming. So I, I don't know what they're cutting around or what they took out or whatever they put in. And I'm sure I could hunt it down, but I don't give a fuck. So, um, <laughs> so let me... Let me just tell you, there's a, see if you could point, uh, figure out, besides the fact that there's this little set piece that they've built or had brought in for their little revival, see, see if there's anything that you can see that will dr drive Hal fucking bananas. Like that, that you'll go, ah, oh, they're just, they're just dicking with him now. They're just trying to, they're just trying to, hold on, I gotta prepare myself. One second. All right, man. I'm ready for this shit. Let's do it. Come on. We uh, we gonna head down there. Gonna watch them uh, people down there gathering. It started out as a prayer convoy, uh -uh. and uh, it it ended up with more cameras than people. But hey, we got some big names coming now. We got Sarah Palin because she's from a border state bordering on the ocean. And, and and Russia and then um uh, and then uh, we got uh, Ted Nugent who is doing a an electric acoustic set apparently and they are take they are addressing the take our border back convoy and the organizer speaks on migrants so we will get to hear a lot of, come on now, everybody getting in there, feeling the excitement of the, she's going to be teaching us a lesson, telling us what real America's all about. You see, now more than ever, we have to stand tall. We have to stand up and fight for what is. That's right. You got to stand tall and you got to stand up and fight. The important part is standing. I mean, you can, uh, the fighting and the tall part are optional, but standing is necessary because they didn't have a stool, so. I was left with just, I have to stand or whatever. But these boots were made for standing. And that's all. I think. Okay. It's right. Every violation of our charters of liberty that's going on right now. Every single one. Every violation of our charters of liberty are going on right now. By the way, that's in her hand. That is not a uh, used condom. Uh, that is uh, her notes, apparently. Also, we're getting very close to what's irritating me about this fucking thing. Like, you're like, everything uh, everything else is fine, Hal, but this is what you get hung up on? You fucking A right. Let's do it. This is, come on now. <laughs> Watch. Article 1, Article uh, 4, different clauses in our charters of liberty that our federal government is sanctioning to allow this Is sanctioning? <laughs> is what? Sorry. Mm. Charters of liberty that our federal government. Oh yeah, they're on it. They, that you guys, you're you're so close, and yet, yeah, it, it, the whole thing, the whole the sign, and then just all right. to allow this invasion. Sanctioning, yeah, they're sanctioning this. Do you mean sanction? Because that's not even close to sanction. But okay. Like I say, if that's not treason, I don't know what treason is. Well, apparently you don't know what treason is. Treason is a, it's a, it's a big overt act. It's not you not liking the policies. We are our leaders. Uh -huh. So for you all to be standing up and saying, you know what, enough is enough. We're not Dude, shut up. I'm trying to listen to the 16th most uh, uh, popular governor in the history of Alaska of the women. We're not going to take anymore. We're going to take our country back. We are. We're going to take our country back. To sort of 
1972, sort of 1959, sort of 1830. What a, you know, a nice little mix of that. Like a, sort of like a racist, sexist, ignorant smoothie. <laughs> We're gonna take our country back. You are the epicenter of this. No, no, you're not the, the epicenter of it, whatever. Anyways, I... You do realize that the vast majority of those people came to Texas. They're not from Texas. You're not talking to Texans, specifically. I'm, I know it says Texas, but the whole point, it's a convoy. It means it came from someplace else. And never mind, she's too stupid to understand this. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. being the activist, for being the hardworking, independent, patriotic Americans that you are. You're so hard. <laughs> okay, and then it cuts immediately to Ted Nugent jerking his wife around. <laughs> Oh, he, uh, I think this is because he called Sarah Palin a babe or America's babe or something. And then his wife starts to leave and she, then he grabs her by the arm really hard and says, this is my wife. So I know a babe when I see one, that's the, now you're all caught up in the kind of gross interpersonal bullshit that he and his wife uh, have to put up within each other all the time. Um, also, uh, you're like, Hal, where's the band? And why an electric if you're just, I agree. <laughs> also, the buzzing is nice. I, <clears throat> if, <clears throat> here's the other thing. That's a really small amp for a, a big rock and roll guy, don't you think? Don't you think that's a little, it's a little, it works for the country artist. The guy with the acoustic would just mic that shit and run it through there. Cool. But, uh, yeah, that, uh, that size hollow body, you're not, that's not, you're not going to get a good Ted Nugent sound through that. Uh, but, you know, the nice thing is, is that he doesn't, <laughs> oh, if Brett Michaels ever gets sick, his stunt double house marks. Oh, that's right. I can do that. Every rose has its thorn, just like every night has its dawn, just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. Every rose has its thorn. Um. Though it's been a while now. Sorry. Sorry, I'll stop while you're ahead. A citizen. The buzzing's good, though. Thanks, man. Yeah. And she was questioning the mayor's failures. And she didn't just... Oh, he tells the story. Sarah Palin was a, a citizen. She was questioning the mayor's failures. They didn't listen to her, so she became the mayor. Then she didn't like the governor, so she became the governor. This is like, he's telling her, like, her, her hero story. Or something. The mayor's failure. He, and I don't think he introduced her. I think somebody already introduced her, and she spoke, and he came later. She took him on, and she became the mayor. We the people taking charge based on the <laughs> self-evident truth of the Constitution. Oh. Duh. And then okay. she found Hold that on. the governor wasn't performing his constitutional duties. So she challenged him. He didn't respond adequately. So she became governor. Yeah. I love that part too. He didn't respond adequately. Well, um, how about adequately? Is that the, that's the phrase? I don't know. Okay. Is he in there? I, I, I see somebody in there, but I don't know that it's, it's, uh, Boston Prime. We'll see. I'll, I'll leave that. Hold on. Oh, there. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Hold on. Now I have to bring you in. You son of a dog doodle, you. Give me a second. All right. So now I got it. Now I have to fix this live on the, on the air. Hold on. This is, uh, okay, take this out. And then um, we'll go into here. And <laughs> just fucking have to jump in. Uh, so this, we have a, ladies and gentlemen, um, if I may, we're going to bring in a special guest now. Um, He's uh, they they call him the 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 rowdy crabber. He's the he's the uh, the Boston bushwhacker. He's the um oh shit hold on get in here. It's not there. He is okay. Close. There we go. Now I got to get it to start up again. Hold on. Oh yes one yes I want you to come. There you go. 
get in there. There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the bust and bushwhacker. Hold on one second. I, I got to send him a picture of us so he knows what's a, what the fuck is going on. It's a it's a good old time up in there. <laughs> to do it. How are you? Hey, how are you, the, my friend? Um, uh, can y'all can y'all hear me? Oh, they can hear you, man. Don't you worry about it <laughs> we're, at we're all. Live down here from the border. That's uh, right. We could... ain't much happening. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. Ain't no much happening. Uh, it's a shit. Like it's out of tune. It's an out of tune guitar from uh, Ted Nugent. Um, and that's, that's about just it. Sad. I'm not gonna lie. Just a shit show all around. That's depressing. Ter ter terrible situation. We wasted How so much of our precious gas money coming down here. That's right. Ninety five dollars a gallon. And and weird is it's only seventy two dollars a barrel for the oil that makes it. That's Joe Biden's. That's Bidenomics. And, right and guess there. what? I didn't even I didn't even what? go to the Taylor Swift show that I spent fourteen hundred dollars on tickets for. I didn't even sell them. I just I just threw that away. Cause that's cause you're a good American. You show her. That's how you yep. show her. And you didn't. Yep. And for the those asking in the cheap fucking seats, he didn't pay a scalper. That's what he actually paid. He insisted on overpaying. At the at the actual box office, just so he That's could right. rip them up in front of the person while humming Lee Greenwood songs, which is That's my so right. It's so right. All right. It's, it's so it's so patriotic that our our, our ex president only knows the last letter of that entire song. That's right. Really, he, really good. He only says a. Well, that's it's a that's you, you have to understand. He's done U.S. a bunch of times, so he had to just backfill it. Did you know that spells a. us? It does. It does. Did you um, know that? I think he thought it spelled use for a while because Americans are useful as well as ornamental. Now, I'm going to have to switch. 38 years on this planet, and I did not know that U.S. spelled us and you dot S meant United States. That's It is true. It has been there the whole time, and it's right there in front of your fucking face. Hold on. Let's see. I, I know I got a picture in here some shit. Do I have it in this one? Where is this shit? Oh, this is it. There you go. Ted now, Nugent's nose looked like he did all the cocaine. Just yes, all he did. Of it. He did all of it. That's right. Hold on. Philip can't be here today, so we're gonna fill that in later. Um, I but I, got, yeah, I do have an interview with Phil tomorrow morning. So well, that's before he's on your that's, show. That's good on you, my friend. That's nice to have. Not sure if I'm uh, gonna have enough gas to get there, but <laughs> that's true. Try. You got to turn right around and start heading back now. I mean, show's over. Sh uh, and let me shit. Let me see. I don't, yeah, let me see. Can you hear this? Let me play this. Can you hear that? Unfortunately, unfortunately, I can. All right. I'm, I apologize ahead of time. And yet, here we go. This is, uh, we got a Boston Bryant ride along uh, here at the Texas Convoy. Now, <laughs> Boston Bryant, people have already pointed out in the, uh, in the in the chat room that this is we could drop our accents for a bit we could uh, um we, they've already pointed out in the chat room that this video is from tomorrow um because <laughs> the, the date says February third we got here a lot faster I thought Biden's traffic would be a lot worse so well, when that, you think there's seven hundred thousand trucks and it turns out to be forty right. <laughs> you get there and a little you get there a little quicker and care and and when they say you know when, when there's some like minivans and fucking Winnebago's and it looks a lot more like that uh that Francis McDormand movie Nomad <laughs> you had it me, does. you had me in stitches again uh yesterday with the with the guy that was at the border interviewing Taylor or or uh, oh, Tyler or Taylor fuck. Or, Ryan Ryan Taylor dude, yeah I the was, guy I was how Christ be news and <laughs> the Christ be news and network <laughs> well this is he's reading the, he's reading the chat and they're like are there really 700,000 trucks? And he's like, no, it's like 70. <laughs> he's like, what is what is Donald Trump's accountant doing these figures? <laughs> right, like, hey, asshole, I can't hear you over the crickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, they're like, there's nobody here uh, yet because they stopped in Louisiana. It's right. Like, yes, because once you get to New Orleans, why the fuck are you going to continue? <laughs> well, and also, Jesus, it started out as a prayer vigil, so we're just driving across country, and you're like, "Oh, you motherfuckers! Just are, uh, this is just another excuse for a ta you know a tax free revival tour but where you can." On a serious rate, note, how sorry how how sick was it for the guy to be like, "Well, d doesn't it seem like the uh, the border patrol wanted those people to drown?" Oh like, fucking hell! Like, oh, there's oh, fuck out of oh, there's more where that came from. So let's let's dive into the like if 
there's a moment where Sarah Palin, I mean, is obviously sliced off a big chunk of dumb and is now uh, eating it like she's in a hot dog eating contest early in this video. But the, the but Ted Nugent's got like hold my fetal alcohol syndrome <laughs> as, as, as he's like, if you think your blather will sound more like like cryptic sovereign citizen bullshit. Wait. It's like he saves money on guitar cases. She didn't invent the middle finger, but she perfected it. <laughs> so Sarah Palin didn't invent the middle finger, but she perfected it. Now, here's the other thing that I hate. I didn't point this out. So not only is the date wrong, or it's, this video is from the future, but the sign looks distressed. They literally make it look like it's been there for hundreds of years. See how the S up there is like, uh, 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 they took an old fashioned like they like they wood printed it in an old fashioned shop, and I'm like, when they fucking did it at Kinko's in Raleigh, <laughs> so fuck you. And and this asshole, not only does he have this little fucking fender down there, which is it's not even a real fender, it says like one of these little like artisan amps, which are fine and lovely and hand wound and fantastic, and I'm sure the guy who brought the acoustic also brought it. This dickhead is playing through a. a uh, Kemper, which is right behind him. Now, a Kemper, for those that don't know, is a guitar processor that models old-fashioned amps. So let me show you um, what that looks like, and you'll see it behind him. And it looks like it looks like an old-fashioned radio. Um, and let's see, yeah, it, it it's it's sitting. Fuck you, you're clicking. Old um, radios it's, always it, remind me of an old brother. Where art thou? Right, yeah. Oh, I, love I am a man of <laughs> constant sorrow. Yeah. I've seen true almighties. Um, so this this is a Kemper. Okay, it is a profiler of it. You can it will record the ambient noise and the and the sound and the and the exact tone of amps like an old Marshall, you know, JCM eight hundred or something, the classic, right? But it's the modern digital iPhone version of that shit, okay? Nothing wrong with it, but let's be abundantly clear. It's it's a $2,000 fake giant amp. It's a, it is a piece of modern tech. It is not fucking homegrown, you know, uh, I'm a real guitar wango dango asshole. He's playing, he's playing what probably is a 1960s, um, sunburst hollow body Gibson through a fucking Kemper at the on this Texas faux stage in front of their fucking manufactured fake like ancient sign and next to him are these fucking IKEA <laughs> bar stools <laughs> I know it only bothers Everything's me. Everything's rustic. Everything's rustic. Everything's rustic bar. except the fucking IKEA bar stools <laughs> and the and the amp from space that he's playing through. <laughs> which, by the way, he doesn't even know how to use. Cause listen, get back into absolute constitutional America. And the whole time he's talking to these assholes, his guitar is fucking buzzing. Because he's got a two thousand dollar guitar processor to play through, and a and a and a cable from like the guitar center giveaway bin so <laughs> near the door because he fucking forgot. Of somebody that used to play in front of tens of thousands of people. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean this is I gotta say this is this is the landing. This is when you overshoot the landing strip and in, in <laughs> state fairs and end up sliding off the runway into the ditch of this <laughs> that's at the at the end of the runway of like i'm a rock like, star yeah Boop, i'm in a state fair Boop, i'm playing in a high school Boop, i'm in a ditch Boop, i'm playing the convoy <laughs> i'm still safe but i look an ass <laughs> oh god and i and the weird thing is all i see is a floating head in a in a baseball cap because he's obviously wearing camo to fool all of us If somebody's running for your vote, I'm sorry, I have to translate over the buzz. If somebody's running for office, ask them. Do you think I need a permit or a license or any man's authorization to have a gun in my belt? <laughs> Do you need a license or a permit to have a gun in your belt? 
And if they say no, then don't vote for them is his point or whatever. And the answer is, of course, <clears throat> yes, you do. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and if you want to live out in the fucking sticks where nobody bothers yeah, to ask you that question. In fucking 1856, yeah. you know. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. And, and even then, not... and even then, they had to check their weapons at the fucking Marshall's yes, office. Yes, all in the time. Cases. Like, the, the Old West was full of no gun in town rules. Pick them up on your way out. Yeah. Because because uh, it was that or uh, you could have a saloon or you could have guns, but you couldn't have both because everybody <laughs> will end up fucking dead. That's Somehow what it was. Don't mix. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, I don't mind if uh, this dickhead carries a gun in his belt because he might, you know, he'll be one of like, he'll probably write a song called I fucking shot myself, you know. Fucking Wyatt Earp more gun been. control sense than Ted Nugent. Totally. <laughs> Do not vote for them. That's the and by the way, that gets a tepid response. I, like, I'm like, it's weird that the audience for the convoy is like 65% like, well, I mean, I think you should probably just be, you know, cars are dangerous. Well, we have to get a license for that. And obviously free association means you can travel and you don't need a permit, but using a vehicle is a different way to go there. 65 people. Right. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good point. I was expecting some sort of noise. Do you think they bailed after Sarah Palin left? Because, uh, you know, once you've seen her strip, you've seen it, you know, you're, once you've seen it, you, you don't need to see it again. Another man thinks he can tell me where, if, how, or what with I can defend my life. That is a bad, bad, evil man on the side of Joe Biden. I get to keep and I get to bear. Keep means it's mine, you can't have it. Bear means I got a couple on me right now and I'm over. This, by the way, this is a shtick he does at all of his shows. While people are going... Play stranglehold and shut the fuck up. Like he gets more, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. he gets more <laughs> shut up and sing from his audience than than the Dixie Chicks ever saw. Can I just say that's not what bear means? No, bear doesn't it, mean you have them on you. That means you're bearing them. That means you're yes. showing your carrying. Yes, them. <laughs> yes, right. And also, yeah, hiding them. Concealed carry is not in the Constitution in that regard. Matter of fact, right. you kind of got to let people know, which was their old version of. A permit. If I can see you're wearing them, because if you had a gun back then, you know, all the guns were big. So, you you know, Jesus Christ, half of them had a plunger that, to use them, you know, like, at that time. Some of them looked like, is that a fucking trombone? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a good commercial like that, honestly. One of the best commercials that I've seen on, on gun safety. It's, you know, it's really straight to the point. It's short. A guy goes into an office, uh, an office building where a bunch of people are working. He's, he's got a musket in one of those old big muskets. You know, he's trying to do harm to people. He goes to yeah. fire. The thing's not accurate enough for him to hit anything, right? So yeah. once he misses the first time, it takes him 17 and a half minutes to reload the goddamn thing. Right. By then, all the people are out of the office. They then flip to somebody going in with an AR-15 style weapon. Yeah. And and the difference in the damage that can cause with, you know, extended clips now and the, and the you know, yeah. the... Um, Magazines and braces. The, the maggots and, and, will get all over you. Magazines, not clips. Clips are what people would call them in the eighties, and it was fine. Oh, and some at some point, these assholes were like, "It's a fucking magazine," because they all went to like weekend warrior school. And you're like, "Yeah." Do, do you know what I mean when I say clip? Uh huh. Would if you were in a battle situation and you were like behind a car and somebody's firing on you, and somebody goes, "Here, here's an extra clip." You'd go, "It's called a magazine." <laughs> like you right. take it and shove Magazine's it in the fucking gun. Also, what I read. While I'm taking a shit. Exactly. So. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and those, the extended magazines are often good in that case. <laughs> Sometimes it's helpful that they have they have longer capacity in that. Sorry. Um, Sorry no, 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 I'm with you. All right. And no man has any say so in that. No man. Sh sure they do. The other asshole with a gun that knows you're carrying and shoots you first because he's a fucking lunatic when he decides to rob Cracker Barrel. Because you are announcing all the time, you've got a fucking 2A thing on your truck, yeah. and you got you're fucking- You're the first one I'm going for. You're the right? first person that gets killed. <laughs> right. Right. Then uh, they're right. gonna know, yeah. then know you're gonna draw, so they're gonna draw down he's on you first. He's that wearing an AK on his back. We're gonna take him right. first. There's another guy in there getting a bagel. He's got one strapped to his hip, so we're gonna get yes. him second. You go totally. Him. The guy, like, you walk in there with a with a like a handgun this fucking big, which is enough to kill you. And and they walk right up yeah. behind the guy who's open <laughs> carrying his fucking AR-15, which doesn't lay flat because he's got a grenade his, belt on with, with the extra yeah, rounds on his chest. He's like, yeah, he's like he's like the uh, 101st diabetes. 
Genie's wing, and then he's holding this fucking thing out. Pick, and you're like, hey, do you think they have any jelly? Pow, like that. And then he's like, give me all the money, and and also I'm taking this guy's gun. Like it's right. the dumbest. Now I have all his weapons. Yes, I, thanks, dude. What and, and his keys? Because God knows he's got sh uh, a trunk load of ammo. Because he's yeah. a fucking lunatic. Just look for the tallest truck in the parking lot. That's got to. Oh be my his. God! Even here. And by the way, uh, you know I I've said this before about like. The robot uprising fear that people have, like, oh my god, we're gonna have robots, the robots are gonna rise up and kill us because they're gonna get sick of working for humans. And I'm like, they don't have to kill us, they just have to wait. <laughs> what, we what's die, gonna, all they gotta do is go find a charging port and sit there until we and not use their battery until humans have died ten thousand years ago and then go just back go to back whatever to the rust. fuck. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oil coon. But the same thing with these guys, like Jesus. All right. What other kind of carry is there? Um, well, I mean, it, it, here's the thing. There's a constitutional version of not being able to carry. Like if you're a felon and you've lost your rights to many elements of the Constitution, um, carrying a gun is one of those. So that would be a, that, I guess that would be constitutional non-carry. And, and if a state, because we live in a republic, decides to have higher rules about what you can carry and where, then that's constitutional carry as well. If you're not constitutionally carrying, you're breaking the fucking law. Right. <laughs> also, and I, like, th this went on forever. I don't know if this motherfucker ever played a song. Louisiana last month. Oh, what is heck? We got absolute conservative... Also, real quick. <clears throat> 19... I'm going to go, he's going to, he's a show off. So I'm going to go, he, br he was like an asshole and he brought a 1958 sunburst. Gibson hollow body down there like a fucking asshole. And uh and he's got a a blue plastic clip-on tuner attached to the headstock. What an Classy. asshole. Classy. <laughs> elected because we we scolded those who didn't vote to vote their conscience. God, family. Country Constitution Bill of Rights, Ten Commandments, right. Law and Order, Self Defense. Yes, he's just basically like he's just, it's like a uh, Kaiser Soze. He's just pulling words off of the bumper stickers of the cars behind all everybody. <laughs> God, Second Amendment, yeah. Constitution, Donald 1776. Trump, 1776, <laughs> Revolution. Um, <laughs> like at one point, he's like, honk FJB. twice. Yeah, uh, right. If the uh, God country if the uh, winnebago's rocking don't come and knocking uh, shit <laughs> what uh <laughs> if you stand up for that and put pressure on your elected employees this will be america again someday god bless you all thank you for being he refused to call them officials we are here okay and then they cut to this guy it's super weird because i was like maybe they just couldn't clear the music he played or if he did at all and what do you play? I tagged, you in, I tagged you in it on Twitter. His his rendition of the national anthem. I tagged oh. you and Johnny Million because it was fucking horrendous. You know what? Here's you know what the fascinating part of that is is that, and I'll bring you back up in this little guy here. So, and I know, let's see, I know I've got a title in there for you, so I'm going to add it at some point. But um, the the weird thing about that is when when back in the day. When uh, Jimi Hendrix did that, it was considered like sacrilege. Like people were like, fuck this hippie bullshit screwing around right. with our sacred, um, you know, national anthem. They still do it today. They still do yeah. it today when a person oh, yeah. of color adds their little flair onto it. Uh, yeah. Or, or, or anybody just doesn't sing it the, the you know, the correct way. Or they, right. they lengthen a verse, or they lengthen a word, or they mm -hmm. you know they add their little twist on the on the notes or something like that. You'll right. always have the people in the in the crowd, you know, saying snickering basically. Right. Well, and the other thing is, is that hold on, this there you go. Look at that. But now, just in just case people don't recognize you in your hat. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> this but, is my fecus character. Well, yeah. This is Beacus. I thought that I'm Beacus. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was El Paso Ernie. I didn't even know. Boston Brian is up in here. New doing, York doing City. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fuck. What'd you put in this jar? You son of a bitch. I, I got him again. 
<laughs> Every time I'm over at his Cook house, him up I them beans. A, Cook him no, up them wait, beans. No, what you do is you take one of a jar of any of his condiments in general, and you fill it with a bodily fluid that vaguely matches the contents of it, and, and then you don't <laughs> say nothing. I've watched a lot of Chester and Gunsmoke, so I can do a, I can do a pretty <laughs> good Southern Southern man. Sure. Southern man, you're a... <laughs> All right. And then uh, this guy goes into, like, uh, you know, his, like, it's kind of jibber-jabber, quite frankly. And then, yeah, he's the rest of the interview on there.